Hello, in this video we will understand about the FGF23. FGF23 is fibroblast growth factor 23. It is the phosphotropic hormone which secreted by osteoblast and osteocytes in the bone because the osteocyte and osteoblast are present in the bone. Remember that things and which that change the physiology and the phosphate group uh, deposition homeostasis. So when the phosphate will be increased in the blood circulatory system, the best stimulator important for phosphate recycling involved in vitamin D metabolism and regulation. FGF23 is 251 amino acid long and increased FGF23 will lead to cause osteomalacia and recurs in this way why because deficiency of phosphate and calcium in the blood will lead to not deposit in the bones so the excessive amount of FGF23 is harmful let's begin to understand this is the bone which that is the compact bone contain osteocytes osteoblast is the bone forming cell osteocyte is the mature bone cell and the fibroblast fibroblast is probably uh, is you uh, we will discuss also the fibroblast what is that but later on so let's begin to understand the mechanism when rise the phosphate group in the blood circulatory system so in this way it will be trigger the osteocyte and osteoblast to release the fgf 23 when rise the FGF23 in the blood circulatory system will target to the parathyroid gland. In the presence of deficiency in decrease of the alpha 25 uh, dihydroxy vitamin D3. When vitamin D3 will decrease will lead to parathyroid hormone will decrease. And in this way the parathyroid hormone when decrease and the 1 alpha 25 dihydroxy vitamin D3 will decrease will lead to absorption will be decrease in the intestine. So in this way the phosphate will be absorbed no, uh, will be not absorbed into the blood circulatory system from the digestive system but excrete in the defecation formation. So the possibly FGF23 also target to the digestive system directly but it is indirect remember FGF23 also target to the kidney which that is the 25 hydroxy vitamin D3 is able to convert uh, one alpha hydroxylase enzyme present in this way the deficiency of this enzyme will lead to sodium phosphate to uh, 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 exchange will decrease and in this way the 1 alpha 25 dihydroxy vitamin D3 when decrease in this way. So this is the part of the kidney is the nephron is the uh, functional unit of the excretion contain uh, loop of Henle, proximal and distal convoluted tubule and collecting duct. So let's begin to understand the fibroblast. What is the fibroblast? Fibroblast is formation, basically formation of connective tissue is used for the formation of connective tissue. A fibroblast cellular material that supports and connects other tissue organs. So the fibroblast is important for the connective tissue formation. And in this way the blood is also due to the fibroblast as well as other collagen formation. And the collagen and fibri fibrin and collagen formation due to the fibroblast. The collagen are deposit in the skin as well as the bone for elasticity. So this both excretion from urination and the uh, decrease of the absorption will lead to reabsorption decrease. And in this way it will lead to effect the regulation of the phosphate and calcium also in the blood circulatory system but we are concerning the phosphate not calcium calcium is also but we are not understanding so the net effect normal range of phosphate restored it is the net effect let's begin to understand the kidney contain nephron let's begin to understand the proximal convoluted tubule which that contain lumen cell the epithelial cell and the loop of Henle and proximal convoluted tubule and distal convoluted tubule. 
This token will have a tubule at the beginning we will discuss here which that contain a tubular cell. This is known as the epithelial cell. FGF23 when bind with the alpha clotho will FGF receptor 1C in this way will trigger the ARC1 and 2 extracellular signal kinase possibly will lead to SG as gly glycogen synthase kinase 1 will lead to sodium proton exchange regulatory co-transporter will activate lead to uh, uh, basically exchange regulate, regulatory co-transporter will bind with the co-transporter sodium and proton exchange will lead to degrade and after the degradation in this way basically the sodium proton exchange will important for the uh, inorganic phosphate reabsorption but degradation will inhibit the reabsorption while the excretion will possible while also the arc 1 and 2 will inhibit the cyp27b1 gene activation uh, inhibition and in this way basically the vitamin uh, inactivation due to the 1 alpha hydroxylase enzyme used to convert the 125 dihydroxy vitamin D3 so it is impossible let's di discuss about the dystoconvulative tubule and the same mechanism but the SGK1 will trigger the VNK4 with no lysine kinase will trigger the uh, sodium uh, sodium channel and the TRPV5 which that is inhibit the sodium uptake and calcium uptake in this way the calcium reabsorption also inhibit while the, here is the fibroblast let's begin to, uh, sorry osteocyte so osteocyte is the phosphate group when increase will trigger the DNA to produce the after transcription to translation to produce the uh, FGF23 will autocrinally bind with the FGF receptor 1 and 3 will lead to FGF23 will uh, trigger the ARC1 and 2 activation to the tissue non-specific alkaline phosphate uh, activation will lead to pyrophosphate conversion into the simple phosphate group the simple phosphate group is able to go into the blood circulatory system as well as able to excrete so that is why the, for excretion should be a pyrophosphate conversion into the uh, inorganic phosphate due to the TNAP so that it is activation by the FGF23 so remember that is basically entry into the blood circulatory system will lead to excrete in the kidney so the same mechanism the FGF23 will inhibit the reabsorption while trigger the excretion and that is why the urine excrete with calcium and phosphate I hope you make sense in this video we have discussed about the FGF23 fibroblast growth factor 23 I hope you make sense so thanks for watching if you like this video please make sure to subscribe like and share and see another video if you want to get more knowledge so bye